So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bond these ports together. And it's so simple to do. And you notice when I create this bond, it's go create and then bond. And I'm just doing the first, we're going to do the adaptive load balancing. So that is does not require anything on the network support. So there's nothing you have to do on the network. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select all the ports here. I have four ports on this, so uh, it's going to keep the same IP address. And you'll notice if I, I have this ping running here, let's see how many pings I actually drop. There's one, looks like a second one. So I dropped two pings and now it should have, it's still applying the, the, the settings there, but I only, I only lost two pings creating that bond. So it's gonna come back here and we'll do the same test here. So the great thing about this, you don't know how, you don't have to control the switch, nothing special about the switch. I haven't done anything. All I did was create that bond there in Synology. And so let's go ahead and just start the copy here even while we're waiting for it to happen. And let's see, we'll go back in there once the interface comes back, see what kind of speed we're getting. Theoretically, I didn't look, but it should say um, 4, oops, 4,000 uh, connected. Let me if I go down here, yeah. 4,000 megabits. Again, I'm not expecting to get that. I'm not expecting to get anything close to that, but we lost our utilization here because it did, did a refresh. Let's go to the resource monitor. If I go to the network, well, I can see a 200 now in, in the scale. So it's definitely hitting it harder than it did with just the one there. If I do the disk here, I go to utilization. And again, that's getting hit harder as well. And now I'm right around, what is that? Four, a little bit of maybe 40 or so. So, I mean, look how awesome that is without doing anything special on the switch. And it took all of 45 seconds to make that happen. Now we're, this is now pushing up. 217 megabytes so again let's get out our calculator here so 217 times 8 so that's 1.7 gigabits uh with just a couple of clicks nothing special on the switch and you know it, it is a higher end switch now if you want me to try this on a lower end switch a D-Link, Netgear, or something. I'm happy to do that. Let me know down in the comments. But I don't think there's going to be any difference in what, what, what we see here. Just creating that bond allows me to drastically increase the speed.